Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf Run where we are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with a single operative permission. It's month number 5, 6 maybe even? No, 5. Um, it's month number 5, June. Yep, month number 5. And we are in dire straits. Our home region is being raided over and over and over. Uh, this time it's another Advent Retaliation. I would want to give Hogbite a try. We have installed the um, superior agility mod, giving him overall 50% dodge. And the reason why I would want to do a mission with him is because he needs levels. And he's, uh, he needs to get a higher rank than just Corporal. So this is a classical rescue six civilians and neutralize all aliens mission. Not sure how well we're going to do. We certainly don't have any concealment going on for us and I don't want to double move because that is not how we're fighting mm. too bad we gotta extra uh, extract I mean she's she takes increased damage from Templars <sighs> I don't know. The problem with it is I am not sure if I can block her her melee strike. If I could, it'll be in a pretty even duel. I think I can. I can actually parry it. Problem is still harbor wave because we're not immune against it. I think Harbor Wave is not parryable. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think the Assassin is not our only problem. Like these guys here. I'm not going to fight the Berserk. Nice try. We could kill every single one of these guys one on one, but we can't kill all of them together and the chosen. Nope, not gonna happen. <sighs> yeah, the problem with the retaliation missions is if the chosen it comes on top, it's almost impossible. We gotta. We gotta get our mine shields going. Without mine shields, it is just very, very difficult. Another crackdown and minus 20 on our income. I am considering to build the workshop because we're now at minus 60. If we were to, if we were to upgrade here, that's 80. Plus the workshop, three hundred. 
Hmm. That'll leave us with around 70. Might as well want to go for another upgrade here to get an additional resistance order, which would be very helpful because we're well, we don't have the best resistance orders overall, but we could use the second one. I think we can let it let it be for one more month because I also need to consider that we might that we might need to um Upgrade the laser weapons. Back to the intel. That's a good research. Look at that, all magnetic weapons plus one damage. And we even got 20% discount on the next uh, magnetic weapon research. So all we need is alien alloys, which we can no longer buy from the market. That's not bad. It is the equivalent of 40 intel, because with that, uh, the con contact cost for one of uh, the regions will be reduced to half of it, which is okay. Commander, there were a few wounded during the latest covert action, but after a few days rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. We may have chosen a different Finally. That here is not bad. We are the hunters. We rule the shadows. And we won't sleep until the last alien is dead at our feet. My people are up for some additional work if you've got any orders for us, Commander. Word is we've got a new trick or two available, Commander. Maybe we should give them a try. Roby and Hogbite. Hogbite needs the extra health. Uh, we definitely can't allow anyone to get captured. So it's just a moderate chance of being wounded and reduction of avatar progress. It's exactly what we were looking for. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. And we got a Nightwalker here. Who hopefully is going to help us with some of the missions to come. I.e. if we play him right, we might be able to pull off some more missions. Terrible month overall. Sabotage the Avenger, that's not good. Permanently lowering resources, that's also not good. Three more weeks until the next facility and six more weeks until the next retaliation mission. Should have probably upgraded first so that we would have gotten double resources and the 10% XP. Well, that's not a bad mission. Um, 
another engineer and a grenadier. Plus we are fighting against large amounts of losts. Interesting. That could be a mission which we could succeed on, at least getting the Engineer plus the Intel, not sure about the Grenadier, but getting a Sergeant Grenadier would certainly help. Let's just double check one thing real quick. What did we put on our covert ops missions? Hmm. I think it was the Templar and our... Yeah, Roby and the Templar. Hmm. Okay. Well, we could launch it with the Reaper. If it fails and the Reaper dies, we will get a new Reaper uh, whom we can hire via the Covert Ops tab. And that Reaper would then be of a higher level. Problem here is as always, they are starting with uh, squaddy rank. And it, it might not be enough now. The advantage of a Reaper for solo run missions is we at least could uh, run them stealthy. And with a Claymore, we can try to, to kill a few and then just leave afterwards. The other alternative could have been a specialist with revival protocol, but unfortunately I haven't skilled that. Alright. We don't have remote start yet. Time to simply avoid most of them. Let's move through the rooms up here. Knowing farewell that there is no one up here. It would be quite a gamble to simply jump down here. So what are we dealing with? All of these fields are... There is someone standing here. Looks like a crate. Another crate here. Okay, no one is in these fields. So let's try uh, try this here for starters. All right, lots and lots and lots and lots of loss. Commander, we have to 
Get moving. Okay, so I definitely would like to get the sergeant. Not sure if that's going to be feasible though. Well, we gotta move fast, that's for sure. We could move all the way up to here, then jump down and just run. There's a ladder up here. And that's the exit. Let's give it a try. We're going to be revealed. Or not. What? We can carry someone while whilst being stealthed. What treacher a treachery is this? How is it possible to be so stealthy that even if you carry someone, no one will notice? Good, this VIP here is worth an engineer plus a hundred intel. We better not let him die. Yeah, look at that. Lots of loss down there. They could come via this balcony and that's about it. Ooh, that would be a nice kill. Propane tank to kill everyone in there. Anyways, I prefer staying hidden. Eleven hit points. We definitely got to get the between the eyes uh, resistance order. We might want to wait another round or not. There are already some loss coming up this uh, way. Some of them are just waiting over there. And some of them sprinted and have finally found out where we are. Great. Time to run. Nice, let's trigger some more. All right, <laughs> time to run. 
We should be fine. I mean, a few will catch up, but not everyone. And I think they can't move and attack. As long as we're not getting swarmed, we should really be okay. So many losts. Now, we just need to get out of here and then the mission would be successful, which would be a huge win because we would get a new sergeant, something that we are lacking, like tremendously lacking. And we would get intel. Mission experience. An engineer. The engineer is probably the best part about it. Maybe even a promotion. Yeah, they can barely keep up with us, but they're doing a good job. Alright. That was pretty good. Pretty damn good. Operation Rotting Spear. Very nice. We did not get a promotion, but we got a Grenadier Sergeant, a 90 Intel, and an Engineer. The Engineer is Godsend. Could probably upgrade the resistance ring here. Could also continue to excavate. The problem is if we're upgrading buildings further, our income will be even lower because they all cost money to maintain. And we're a bit short on money at the moment. Kong here. Needs uh, proper color coding. And we got a new Grenadier. So we got two sergeants. Roby is already a lieutenant. Hogbite needs to further level up, so we gotta get a, a few promotions for him. There is even more intel. Let's get the reduced um, the reduced contact costs first. Good, future comment number one. All GTS tactic costs reduced by 20%, which is really good. That's a lot of money which we would save by investing in it. 
And since we're lacking alien alloys and crystals, might as well take that breakthrough. It's not the best breakthrough, but since we haven't invested any money yet, 20% of, of most of the stuff is quite a bit. Um, we're okay on Intel. I would leave it as um, at this as soon as the black market is open again. I'll give it a try and purchase some alien alloys. Otar continues making progress, which is threatening. Uh, we got to counteract it. This here is now reduced to 4T Intel. Scanning for further intel. We could really use maybe an engineer or a scientist that we can scan for. Okay, we're keeping it in check. And there is the promotion for the corporal. Nice. Plus health, plus one. So, so important. We gotta do this here next. Essentially counter all of the Avatar project as, as much as possible to get it down. Increase income, yeah, not really going to help a ton. This here would be nice, another Templar. But we need to, first of all, raise our fact, uh, our, um, our influence with affection. Okay, we again need to prevent that the soldier is getting captured. That's not okay. Wounded is fine. And let's reduce the avatar progress. Another 10 days. Okay, 70 points. Um, Overcharge, I like it. Pretty cool ability, but I think we're going to go with Sustain here. Overcharge is good for generating additional focus. Sustain, however, will allow us to uh, withstand a mortal wound once. And I'm okay with using XCOM AP for him, so might as well give him overcharge on top of it. That's fine. Slowly but surely, we're going to create a super soldier with him. There is another chance to get a scientist. Hack the advent station. And many psionics will be present. Yay. That is what we all were waiting for. So, but that's, I think I'm going to do the mission in our next episode. It'll probably be a short run. But who knows? I mean, maybe I can pull off and at least hack the workstation. 
uh, we're certainly not going to be able to kill 15 enemies. But countering the Hidden Dark event might not be the worst idea. Um, as for the next steps, I think we're fine on the Avatar project at the moment, but that is not sustainable. At some point we we need to deal with all of uh, the different um, facilities here because each individual facility produces ava uh, avatar progress and we're soon going to see the next one. It's just too many facilities are being uh, created. Our main problem is we can't really expand. I would need a shit ton of intel to essentially expand, build a tower, expand, and immediately expand again to reach it. Elsewise, we need to have a facility lead to to reach the facility and then maybe raid it in order to to take off multiple blobs from the avatar bar. Um, so that's probably the biggest uh, concern still. We need to stabilize it. We're definitely not at the point in the game where we could now run the black side facility and feel like yep that's going to work out easy um, it's probably one of the most difficult uh, missions and since the uh, enemies there are also scaling to a degree we can't just kick kick in the door we are okay on money although and I'm, we're having around 100 extra supplies here. I'm very cognizant of our negative income at the moment. But I think overall the monetary part can be solved. There are going to be enough supply drops just coming in over time. As well as sometimes uh, the missions also allow us for supply drops and covert ops if we really need money. And we can also sell stuff. So that's not the problem. The alien alloys, I, I really haven't figured that one out yet because since we, the only thing where we could get alien alloys was with the supply crates. And we had a few alien alloys. Unfortunately, mm, they had been taken away with the uh, chosen crackdown action where they were just economically trying to bleed us out. And unless we're managing to finish one of the uh, supply rates and get really a lot of supplies, I I would be waiting for an Elarium uh, plus Alien Alloy spawn here on the map, uh, which we can scan as soon as that happens. Um, I'm more than willing to go into the into the research um, category of plated armor as well as uh, elarium and then heavy armor. So we could probably relatively soon upgrade it even twice, but it requires some more dedication. Psionics, um, I'm almost of the opinion it's too little too late now if we're starting with it. Now, it would still take a lot of time. And our main focus needs to be to get the, uh, needs to be here to get the right, um, to get the right covert actions. And with the covert actions, essentially um, gain bony. I was hoping that the whole mobility uh, bonus could, uh, could be shifted to our Templar but that's not always possible. Apparently the Templar doesn't like to work for the Reapers. So yeah, that's in a nutshell where we are at the moment. I think overall, okay. The run has stabilized a little bit more, but it's far from good. We do have one region and I don't see anytime soon that we're going to have more than that because we're simply not being able to. Sorry to win the um, retaliation missions. Yeah, I need to think a little bit more about how to 
how to counteract everything in this game has a counterplay um or uh, also having just one region has um, has a, and being cracked down has a counterplay i just need to find it anyways see you in the next uh, mission which we're hopefully um at least going to uh, counteract the dark event as always thanks for watching and have a great day bye bye